All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to World of Warships. Today, we're not going to do a Let's Play style video per se, where we just do some commentary while we play the game. I wanted to actually take a more detailed look at some of the ships in, well, World of Warships. Today, we're starting off with the German Tier 1 cruiser, the Hermelin or Hermeline. The idea behind this video, and hopefully many videos to come, is that we both play the game and have the ship in the background where we discuss some of the historical aspects of the ship. I'm going to actually take a look at some of the drawings, some of the pictures from way back, and compare them to the in-game model. If you guys liked that idea, let me know in the comment section. Let's get going with the Tier 1 German cruiser, the Ermelin. So before we can dive into the Hermelin, you have to understand why it was ever designed in the first place. Germany realized that a strong navy would not only be very required to deal with the British, it would also be required to, after they defeated all of their enemies, who actually ruled the world. Plan Z was the German plan to re-equip the Kriegsmarine, which was, by the way, heavily limited by the Versailles Treaty, with a ton of new ships. Initially, they were only allowed to have six pre-Dreadnought battleships, six light cruisers, and 12 destroyers and 12 torpedo boats. They were not allowed any submarines as a limit because of what happened during World War I or any battleships over 10,000 tons. So Plan Z would add 10 battleships and four aircraft carriers to Germany's naval strength somewhere starting in mid-1938. But then the outbreak of World War II sort of brought a stop to that, but they did finish the ships they were currently working on. Besides battleships and these aircraft carriers, the Graf Zeppelin was one of those, Germany also needed smaller ships. Ships that were capable of patrol duty, whether it was in German waters or in waters that were newly German, you know, in the New World, in the Caribbean, South Africa, anywhere that they basically beat their enemies and they now had new colonies or territory, they would need smaller ships to patrol the waters to do resupply runs, you name it. A smaller gunboat with a large range was needed to reach the new far corners of the German Reich. This ship was the K1-class gunboat, also known as the Colonial Kanonenboot, or the Colonial Cannon Boat. They ordered four of them at the end of 1938. However, the outbreak of World War II actually caused the cancellation of all four ships just two weeks after the German invasion of Poland in September of 1939. The K1-class never saw the light of day. As far as I have found, the Hermelin in World of Warships was based on the K-1 class, but obviously was never really made, so they took some liberties here and there. However, there I found some pictures of the Colonial Canonum boat, and if you check, there's a lot of similarities. Let's take a look at those right now. Alright, now let's take a look at the Colonial Canonum boat's drawings, and we'll compare it here to the in-game Hermelin. The most obvious things here are the locations of the turrets, the superstructure, the masts, even the angle of the mast is pretty much identical to the drawing. The locations of the anti-aircraft guns and the sloops, the locations of the little emergency boats and sloops on the boat are all in pretty much the exact same spot when you compare the drawing to the in-game model. This drawing here is a real drawing. It comes from the Amt für Kriegsschiffbau, which translates roughly to a worship building office or office for worship building. We can take a look from above and we can take a look at the pictures. We can see the front gun with behind it offset are two anti-aircraft guns with two barrels. Then right next to the smokestack are again two more anti-aircraft guns on either side of that flanking the smokestack with twin barrels and then there is one more in the back basically covering the rear of the ship overlooking the aft turret. The specifications I found stated that the ships would have about 20 millimeters of armor in the thickest places where they were most armored. Now here we can definitely see a little bit of thicker armor on the superstructure and right below the guns and also right here covering the engine and boiler room. The engine and boiler room have a 35 millimeter armor whereas the superstructure actually has 37 in just one spot and the areas below the guns come down to 30 with the guns themselves being 25. 
the speed of the ship in game is actually 24 knots versus the 20 ish knots that was projected to propel the ship now i can see why uh world of warships especially at lower tier you don't want people to get really annoyed with a slow ship so you obviously want to give them a little bit of a speed boost a small increase to basically allow a little bit more uh playability for new players to the game with all this being said, it was a short video on just discussing the Hermelin and how it is in World of Warships. I personally really enjoyed making this video. If you guys want to see more of this sort of content, please do let me know in the comment section. I'd love to see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Cheers.